Welcome back teachers to our video series on Google Apps for Education. Today we're going to be talking about Google Sites, which is massive, so let's get started. First thing we want to do is create a Google Site, so if you'll click on your waffle in the top right hand corner when you're in a Google App and go to Sites, you can always go to sites.google.com as well, as long as you're logged in you're good to go there. Um, and you can see some sites if you've already created some, they're right here. Uh, to create a new one, you click on the red Create button couple different options here you can use a blank template or you can browse the gallery let's go ahead and browse the gallery right now because I did want to show you there are quite a few public um, templates to use and here's schools and education so let's click on schools and education and these are you know teachers and different people in education that have creating created uh, templates Google site templates to use and these are some of the um, most popular ones. Here's a student e-portfolio. Eventually, hopefully we can get to the point where we can open Google sites up for student use. Right now, all you can do is share with them one individual page and they can edit that, but they cannot create their own Google site through Carroll County Schools yet. So hopefully we can uh, we can talk about that in the future. But um, you got a couple different options here to, to choose from. So I'm gonna go ahead and click uh, Classroom Court Board and click select and there we go we've got to name our site here we go so something where we know what to do with it right all right um, and then right here is the site location what do you want your URL to be it's automatically going to be sites.google.com slash a slash carolcountyschools.com okay and then you can add something onto that as well this just denotes that it's being created by someone in our um, you know by carolcountyschools.com so I can change this to, you know, hi, I'm pretty sure there's not going to be any URLs like that out there. So scroll down, I can select a theme, but really we've already got that cork board, so I'm going to leave that. But if I didn't, if I wanted to go with a blank template, this is a good way to uh, kind of beef up a blank template, okay? And I'm going to tell you why. I, I, I prefer going with a blank template, uh, and I'll show you why in just a minute. Um, there's a couple of different more options down there at the bottom. You click on those and you can give it a put it in a category in the description if you want that's up to you so now I'm done really all I do is choose my template and name my site and change my URL and I'm gonna click create now we have our site it's been created for us um, it took a few minutes so I paused it there but once it once it, it's ready then you've got this site already created for you uh, here's one reason I don't like using the templates because a lot of times they, you know they put this Latin text or whatever just to kind of um, save place I, places I guess you'd say and when you're in here you've got a lot to to change and edit okay and to edit the page we'll click on this pencil um, and I can delete all this stuff out you know and, and kind of go from there and change the image if I want but personally I don't like to do that. I'm, I'm going to start from a blank template. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this and go back and start from a blank. All right, so here's my Delete Me site with a, a blank template. Um, notice there, are, you know, there's only the home page. It's all I create for you. You have to create everything else. I kind of like this and, and just build it for myself. Now, once you click the Edit button, that pencil up there, you've got, you know, a Word document. You've got a Google Doc right here. So um, it's pretty simple. You can, you know pretty much type in like you would anything else you can change your font you can change the style if you want um, you know, center you, you guys get the idea here so you can do a lot of stuff with that just by editing the page here um, I also want to show you the create page this is where you would create a new page obviously so you click that little plus page button now you name your page um, you know I kind of suggested a couple different pages for you guys to create an about me page might be a homework page that kind of stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and do an about me um, select the the template to use all right for the most part you're gonna use web page now announcements are, are pretty good I've used those but file cabin is the one I use a lot of as well so when I'm creating a, a page to house documents I'm gonna put it in a file cabinet format so if you have if you're gonna have a notes page and post all your notes for your students throughout the year in one location on a Google site here it is we just click file cabinet and we'd have that um, just a real easy way to upload those documents and put them in folders um, let the location where are you gonna put this 
the top level means it's equal to that home page put it under the home page that means they have to you know uh, click on the home page to see where it is so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at the top level choose a different location if you have multiple pages you'll, you'll see where that can come into place so here's my about me page right here and I you know all about me uh, um, so you can obviously put in a little information there what else can you do in a uh, Google site just about the same types of things you can think of inside of a Google Doc that kind of stuff so I'm going to do an image right now and let's see if I can find one real quick of me uh, alright I found my photo I'm going to click the photo click open and it's going to open it for me inside the website once it's highlighted click that OK button it sticks it right in there for you now we've got a couple of different options here this is the original size it's as big as it is you can also make it um, we can make it large medium small I mean, you can do different things like that you can center it on the page and different things um, with it there so you kind of just play around with all the different options you have next thing I want to show you real quick is to um, create a uh, well we gotta save that I gotta save all changes uh, not like Google Docs in that format I'm gonna create a new page this time I want it to be um, your a file page so I'm gonna make it in the file cabinet like we talked about earlier this time I'm gonna put it under about me so I'm gonna put it under the about me just to show you how that works click create alright so now we have a new file page and it's really quick to add your files from here so I can add a file straight from my computer I can add links add from you know documents from my drive as well once you have a couple files in there you can um, move them to a new folder so I highlighted those and let's just call this the pictures save them so now they're in that pictures folder uh, if you wanted to just to, to kind of show you some of these settings in here which I'm really a lot of them are self-explanatory but I do want to look at the page settings because this is where I can come in and change this so if I made a web page and it kind of turned into a filing cabinet I can click that change button come back here and change it and vice versa if it was a filing cabinet but it really should be a web page you can change it after the fact I'll go ahead and cancel that for you alright so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, create a new page here and we'll talk about inserting a few things so we'll go ahead and call it insert stuff insert stuff page here we go see how I did not put that underneath the about me so it's just on the same um, same line there not underneath the page so inserting a couple different things we looked at the image just a minute ago you can insert a link so if, one thing to remember about link is I can link it it automatically defaults to a sites page so this is a page that's already in your website so if you wanted to link it to home you can do that you can link it to home um, here's your delete me home page if I wanted to um, put in a web address this is most of the time what you're going to be doing so let's say you want to link your kids to your Edmodo page um, Edmodo.com alright so here's the text to display we don't have to put Edmodo.com we can say my and Moto page. Uh, I always, I, this is just a personal thing, but I always open this link in a new window because you want your your viewers to stay on your website. You don't want them to get lost once they leave. So, open it in a new window. Click OK. Click Save. So now, when the kids are here and you tell them come see here, visit this page, they click on it. Notice it opens it in a new window, but they're still on your website. So that's one of the reasons I like doing that. Another thing, go back to edit this page. Another thing you can insert on here is a YouTube video. So I'm going to come in here. You can paste the URL of a YouTube video in here. All right, so I went and found a video I love, Minecraft and Education. I think it's kind of a neat video. So I'm going to paste the URL in there. You can adjust the size if you want, include the border or title. Um, you can change that in here in Education and click Save. So one cool thing about embedding embedding a video it's there there's no link so when I click save it's an actual video that the students can see so when they click on this there the insert stuff page here's a YouTube video so it's right there for them to see they click on it it 
and it starts uh, it starts showing them all the different things inside there. Um, so I do like that. Go back to editing the page. We'll go ahead and take this off just to keep it clean. Um, one thing, I, one more thing I wanted to show you was inserting a. All right, so if I click insert. You can embed anything from Drive. So any type of a document, you can embed it right there inside of Google Docs. I'll let you guys play around with that. Presentations as well. But I wanted to show you some gadgets, okay? So when I click on more gadgets, um, this is all the different stuff that uh, Google has for you. So right down here is the Slideshow Maker, all right, using Google Slides. So I want to talk about this a little bit, all right? So... I have a slideshow already created with multiple pictures on it. All right, and so if I click on my technology summit website, you notice here that it is automatically scrolling through this presentation for me. Okay, automatically scrolling. You cannot do that in Google Sites unless you use this gadget. Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you. So right here, I'm going to go to Insert More Gadgets, and here are all the different Google gadgets. Slideshow Maker. I'm going to click that now. Um, it asks for all right now it's asking for the link to the presentation let's go back to the presentation first though because there's a few things you have to do number one each one of your pictures needs to be about halfway up the slide okay because it only shows from about here up so you might want to go through there and do that second thing I want to make sure you do is go to file page setup and make sure you're in standard 4x3. Usually it defaults to 16 point, no, 16 by 9 make sure it's 4x3 and click OK. Alright. The third thing we've got to share this out make sure anyone with the link can, can view. Okay. You cannot, um, let's go to advanced and change that. If this is still on private all right, or only specific people can view or anyone with Carroll County Schools with the link then other people, your parents and students, are not going to be able to see it, that kind of stuff, unless they're signed in to Carroll County Schools. So anyone with the link can view is, is what we want. All right. The last thing, you got to make sure about the presentation, it has to be published. So go to File, Publish to the Web. This one's already published. Let's go ahead and unpublish it here. So when I click File, Publish to the Web, here, here we go. I'm going to check Start Slideshow as soon as possible. Or as soon as the player loads and restart the slideshow that's the looping effect that you want in there once you're there you're good to go click that publish are you sure you want to publish yes I am sure here's the link we want right remember the website was asking us for the link so I'm gonna copy that link go back in paste it in you've got to click save first or it will not work so I'll go ahead and click save I know this one's gonna look good at about 600 pixels you want to leave it to 100% width and then kind of work the pixels in whatever looks good to you then once you click OK here's your Google gadget I click save and now inside of my website I have a um, slideshow now I don't like the slideshow maker right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit that go back into the gadget and unclick I don't want to display the title I want to include a border Click OK, and now we should be back to where uh, it looks good for us. And it just automatically scrolls through every three seconds. A couple more things I'd like to mention on this. Um, you can insert an HTML box. This is really good, you know, obviously, if you know HTML. But if you don't, a lot of times you can find different gadgets and widgets online and just copy the HTML, paste it right there, click Save, and it inserts it inside your Google site. So even if you can't find that widget inside you know, our gadget right here, uh, even in more gadgets, if you can't find it there, you can still find it in that, um, you know, you can still paste it in that HTML site. So, well, this is going to be kind of like your capstone project, so please uh, spend some time on this website and feel free to email me if you have any questions or any problems. Um, and you know, if you already have a website created, please don't create a new one. Just uh, you know, work on uh, making yours look a lot better and kind of including some of these things we talked about. Thank you very much.